Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're gonna to work on putting a Excel table or just a simple table into a map layout. So I've got my map here. I got all these alien hotspots, but I want a table here that d details and lists a little bit more information about these specific hotspots. So within layout view, what I'll do is I'll go to the map that I have. I'll right click on that. So underneath the map frame, there should be something, you may have named this, but there should be a map. Right here, you can right click on that, click add data. When the add data comes up, what you can do is you can go all the way to that folder in which you had the Excel file that you wanna get. And so this is the XLS that I want. So I can go in, double click on that, and then click on a specific worksheet that I want, and then click okay. Okay, now what that does is that puts it in the available layers for the layout. And so there'll probably be this group called standalone tables. You can toggle down to open that up, and then you'll have light crafts or whatever you select it to put into the map. Okay, so now that we have that, what we can do is we can highlight the one we want, go to insert, go all the way over to table, table frames, and then select one of the templates. You can also go down here and more and click that if you don't have the one that you want. But I'll go again to insert over to table frame, click on the one you want, then click and drag down to enter it into your map frame. So what we see is because we had it selected down here by just clicking on it before we went up to insert and put the table into the map, then the correct table was placed into the map. So another thing you can do is check is open up the actual table that you wanted. So go to it in the contents pane, right click on it and then click open and see if things compare. Okay, it looks like we have 14 or 15 features going from zero to 14. Yep. Seems like we have that. So you can resize the table to get rid of the barren area. To do this, just hover over the white boxes at the end of the table. Once you see your cursor turn to arrows, you can click, hold, drag, and then resize. And one thing you'll notice here is these three dots here. That can uh, tell you that there's more to the table that you may be cutting off. So we could extend the table and kind of see what we what we'd be cutting off. Okay, I'm not interested in not any of that stuff, so I'll just bring it back. Okay, so say we want to manipulate the actual table a little bit more. What we can do is right click on the table, go down to properties, and then we'll get the element data and properties come up to the side here, or wherever it is on your screen, you'll have the option to manipulate the, the data within the table. Okay, so this, this first the options tab will allow you to change the, well, you could actually change the map frame that the table is on. You could change the, t the data that the table is sourcing. So let's say we want another feature class. We can select any of the stuff that's in our ma map data frame here to be represented within the table over here. Um, you can make a query. So let's say I wanted to choose the things that were just in the town of Kihaha. Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I can make a new query here and then go to town, city, and is equal to, and then I could look for Kihaha and click apply. And that will shorten the table to just those towns. And so you can use that to manipulate that as well. If you, if you want specific things to take, get rid of that, you can hit the X here and then click apply. And that should bring everything back. Also, there's these fields properties here. Um, I like this one. It's important because you can change the auto width here. And once you turn that off, then you can change, okay, the width of these columns will be 1.5 inches. You can close that in. Maybe to something like that. Maybe to 0.7 inches or 0.5 inches. Or you can go back to auto width where it will select it for you. There are a few different things you can manipulate. The display, the heading text, you make that bigger, smaller. You can see the heading gaining in size there. Um, data text, so within the columns, you can see that. You can manipulate it that way. You can control the background and borders and the vertical lines within the table as well. Okay, moving on to the next tab, the arrangement. This is where you can sort of arrange how the data is formatted. You can adjust for the frame columns and the font size. 
You can make a minimum font size. You can do some sorting. This can be kind of helpful. You can click the plus here. So let's say we want to sort by date. Then you can sort by date, oldest to oldest and newest if you want. You can manipulate some of the spacing within, within the columns here. And you can try all this stuff out. It, it depends on your needs and how you want it to look within the map. So here you have a good bit of manipulation for the actual display of the table. So the background, the heading, you can change the text color and things of that nature. Um, you can change the background of the specific rows. So it all has to do with your preference, but you just have to get in here and maybe just manipulate it and play around with it and see what you get. So I'll give you a couple of examples of how you can use this tab to manipulate. Maybe I want the heading text to be a little bit bigger and maybe a darker shade. Okay. So then the background is a blue, but maybe I want a little bit darker blue. So I'll come here and select that. Maybe I want an underline to be a little bit bigger, make more separation between the header. And here we have the size and the placement of the tables. You can manipulate the same way by just dealing with the arrows here. Um, so you don't necessarily need to use this box and you can also move it by dealing with the arrows. As you see, when I move things and change the table size, then the values within these columns also move, but also just another way to manipulate the table to make it look like you want it to look. Thanks. If you found this video helpful, please like subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content.